Well, hi, my name's Brent Malhoff. I'm the current Cartsport New Zealand president. Cartsport New Zealand is the governing body of karting in New Zealand. It's been around for over 60 years. We rate all of our facilities throughout New Zealand for the type of events that we run. An A-rated track is the top track, which means that you can run what we are running today, a national event. You have to have a whole lot of facilities um, in place to be able to run that. And one of those facilities that is now mandatory required is that you have electronic lights. Valley Tracks was one of a number of different companies we looked at for electronic flags. They presented well, they said that their product was very stable, they said their backup and customer service was brilliant, and we can attest that that is the case. I'm Johnny, I'm one of the race officials here at Cartsport Hamilton. This weekend I'm Chief Steward. The whole system in general is really handy. It means you don't need all the volunteers that we used to on the flag points. It comes down to one or two people manning the whole circuit. And the fact everything's documented, every time we had a yellow flag, we get a timestamp, we can prove that the yellow flag, red flag went out, and you know, we're breaking a 50 year habit of having flags. And while we introduce a new system, better to have both in operation and phase the flags out. I'm president at Cartsport Hamilton. President role's really just about organising things and making sure stuff gets done. One of our sport's great challenges at the moment is keeping volunteers. We're lucky we've got Mike Grimshaw on the gate, so he's always been able to do the spotting between five and six. And it's just a matter of finding someone who can sit up in the tower. We had one incident where the kids had already gone past flag point one, which is where the red flag was located. It was quite a big incident here at four. And with the yellow track system, we managed to get the whole track red and get everyone to slow down as they came around the sweeper. Now with the old red flag system, they probably would have got here at full race pace. So that was a real positive for us. The track was fully blocked here, so we wouldn't have wanted them coming around at race pace. And I mean, ultimately the sport's two things, you know, for a lot of people it's a fun hobby, which is fantastic, and for a lot of people it's the beginning of a career as well. So for a lot of these kids, if they want to go and do stuff internationally or in race cars, they're going to have to learn to deal with a light system. So it's just part of that learning experience for them, I think. Hello, my name's Mitchell Sparrow from Cartsport Hamilton, and I drive in the KZ2 class for Drago New Zealand. The lights are very bright, so they're easy to see as a driver. I found that with the flags, parents always wanted to watch their child and see what the cart was doing and see what they can change. So they weren't paying full attention on their section that they were marshalling. So I think this is a, a great way to move forward and try and take some pressure off the parents and let them focus on their kid and just enjoy the racing. It's just a, another great way to, to move the sport forward and make it better for everyone. And at the end of the day, if you're looking for a solution that has good backup, good support and delivers on the promise, I'm very comfortable to recommend Electrics.